we come to a cell which is the primary source of the, the supply for a DC current and the batteries that we have been doing are, are normally the dry cell batteries where the electrolytes are not a liquid, they are a solid. So you are able to you carry them and, and you call them dry cells. Okay, the batteries that you are using, the cells that you are using in your uh, in, in the battery that you use for your inverters, they are they are not dry cells, right? They are wet cells. They have an electrolyte that is liquid. This is an H2O4, right? So, so, so this is how a cell looks like. And and let us say this is its positive terminal and this its negative. Then a cell has its own internal EMF that we normally designate by that we normally designate by it has it has an internal EMF that we designate by E okay we designate this by E okay and when the electrons have to flow within the cell they they face a resistance that is called an internal resistance that is called an internal resistance R get that this is called the EMF of the cell it stands for electromotive force And this is the internal resistance. The resistance is inherent because the, 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 the electrons have to travel within the cell through a solid and it will face a resistance, right? So it is inherent to all. In the same sense as, as house over smooth surface is, you will always have some friction. Okay, so it is there. It is always there. Now what you are able to, to access through the electrodes is this and this terminal right fine so in a sense this whole thing can be can be replaced by can be replaced by by th this whole cell can be this this whole thing can be replaced by 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 this okay and and these can be assumed to be the terminals right so so this is where this external resistance r is connected this r is connected here this is connected here okay now what happens Till now, we have been taking our we have been taking our our voltages. We have been dealing with our cells like that, and someone added a series resistor a resistor here like that. Okay, so. So we have been taking it as E and this as R and, and I know there will be a current here I and if I had applied the Kirchhoff's law what will it look like? Let's say I start from this point so I go from negative to positive I go from negative to positive so it is plus E and then I go in the same direction as the current that is minus I R minus i r and, and then I come back to the same so I equate it to 0 I equate it to 0 so this becomes e is equal to i r so i becomes 
e upon r right e i becomes e upon r now when you model it correctly okay if we take the internal resistance into account into account let us try to see what happens if this is e okay and this current is say i1 this is capital r then what happens i start from here e okay minus i1 r i have not taken it to be i because now the current is different right must be different the situation has changed they are not identical circuits fine so i1 r here and then when we come here the current is in that direction so it is minus i1 r is equal to 0 okay that is equal to 0 correct that gives me e is equal to i1 into r plus r so i1 becomes e upon r plus r correct since this this r is a, is, a, is a positive quantity that means the, the when, when i compare these the denominator of this is greater than this so 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 this i1 is less than i okay so i1 is less than i that is the first thing okay why because because this this inherent resistance comes into play Correct. The inherent resistance comes into play. Now, what voltage you get? Okay, what voltage? What voltage? is obtained across this resistance r is not the same what you got in this case okay if, if, if this was va this was vb then this va traveled all the way va this vb traveled all the way here so we see that the that the potential across this resistor was the same as e right so here the potential across the resistor is E. Now let's try to understand what the potential here is. Correct? Here this is VA. So fine, this VA travels all the way. Here it is VB it encounters a resistor right so i cannot say that that this is all the way here i can take uh, take the potential to be vb not possible okay but we know how to find out potential difference between two things in an open open sort of situation so i start from va i say va okay v at a then I move applying the same rules as in KVL minus I1 R minus I1 R is equal to VB. So VA minus VB becomes I1 R. Is it not? And what is I1? I1 is nothing but E upon R plus R. Okay. So, so that is what? Into R. Fine. 
so your potential across this is is nothing but but e into r upon r plus r the potential changes and only because this potential changes does the current also change because you see across this potential say v a b if you divide it by capital r this is what the current was right this is what the current was fine so whenever now onwards we deal with this emf and we have the internal resistance given many a times it is negligible and and normally not stated but whenever it is stated it is to be modeled like this like this okay this is your whole whole cell fine okay now now we'll use this concept to see what is the what is the emf when we have some such cells in series okay 